We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Long line fishing utilizes monofilament lines that can be as much as 62 miles long. The line itself is buoyed by styrofoam or plastic floats. Usually, at about every 100 feet, a secondary line is attached and hangs down from the main line. The lines are baited with mackerel, squid, or shark meat and have as many as 10,000 hooks. Every 12 to 24 hours, the line is hauled in, mechanically rebated, and set back into the water behind the vessel. The baited hooks can be seen by albatross and other seabirds as they are placed in the water or being hauled in. When the birds dive for the bait, they are hooked, dragged behind the fishing boat, and drown. Spectacularly non-selective, long line fishing techniques also hook many other forms of marine life. Flag lining involved a long main line made of sections of tarred rope set horizontally in the water, with multiple leaders and baited hooks, suspended by multiple floats with flags. Long lines can be used to capture fish in surface waters pelagic, as well as bottom living species, demersal. Long lining sets a length of line and from this come branch lines carrying baited hooks. Large long lines used offshore can be tens of kilometers long and carry thousands of hooks. Smaller inshore vessels use shorter, lighter lines with roughly less than a thousand hooks. Today's fishery has two segments. The majority, tilde 125, set gear deep in the water column during the day, 45 to 400 meters, to target big eye tuna, our prized sashimi fish. Don't worry, Mickey. I'm not going to go to the 
இப்படி செல்ல அப்படியே போங்க விட்டுறாய்க்கு தூக்கு பாடுக்க தூக்கு பாடுக்க கடை கடை பீக்கிறா ஏய் தங்கூரா 